There are places that have a magnified impact on the way the world works, on the way the entire system functions, that we should do everything in our power to protect them as if our lives depend on them, because our lives do depend on keeping them intact and healthy. As you're moving down towards the Ross Sea, it gets richer and richer. You have this sense of it growing. You're about to witness a true concert of life, and, and that's what we actually saw. The Ross Sea is an amazing laboratory, both to understand how marine ecosystems used to work, but also a very valuable laboratory for understanding the effects of climate change. The Ross Sea is a really important ecosystem because all the other large marine ecosystems have been damaged. Um, and so we have one that's reasonably intact. The fishermen own the ocean. They fish first and ask questions later. And we've got another example of that in the Ross Sea. I mean, there's no, you know, socially redeeming value about taking a toothfish out and uh, serving it up on a platter to people in the most expensive restaurants in North America. In the case of the Ross Sea, there's a lot of very, very special characteristics that would lead most people, I think, to conclude, yes, this is a very, very important site to receive special protection. Marine protected areas work. Even small areas make a difference. Big areas make a bigger difference. <laughs>